Royal outrage, Cray twins annoyed at Princess Margaret after bar snub. Ronnie and Reggie's life has been re-examined in new docu-series Secrets of the Crays, which is currently airing exclusively on BritBox. It follows the story of the notorious London gangsters, reviewing their rise to prominence and downfall during the late 50s and into the late 60s. Known as much for their nightclubs as they were for their gruesome crimes, the Cray twins wreaked havoc across the East End alongside their gang known as The Firm. Their reign over the capital was eventually ended after Ronnie and Reggie, and other members of The Firm, were given life sentences after two men were murdered. Among those who recalled their memories of the Cradle wins included former Page 3 model Maureen Flanagan, who became close to the brothers when she began cutting their mother's hair. The Crate wins were known to have an array of celebrity friends, including the likes of film legend Judy Garland, crooner Frank Sinatra and much-loved TV star Dame Barbara Windsor. But Maureen told Express.co.uk that the brothers were left annoyed after Princess Margaret, the Queen's sister, didn't go to their bar after attending one of Dame Barbara's film premieres. Flanagan said, They met Princess Margaret didn't they? They met Margaret at a premiere, I think it was Barbara Windsor's premiere, Sparrows Can't Sing, in 1963. But she didn't go to the after-party which annoyed both of them. Obviously, that would have been a feather in their caps if she had gone afterwards to their club but that didn't happen. Margaret was well known for her party antics, particularly during her younger days, and would regularly rub shoulders with a host of stars. Flanagan recalled another encounter the twins had, this time when they took Judy Garland from the London Palladium, and whisked her off to the East End to give an impromptu performance to their mother. She said, when she was over here, she was holed up in a hotel, she was appearing at the Palladium and she was very, very ill, like a little scarecrow, and I think at the time she had weeks to live. And they picked her up one night from the Palladium, and they said, we're going to take you out for the night. And she thought she was going to, some, clubs but they took her to Valence Road. Valence Road, in Bethnal Green, was where the crazed mother Violet lived and was often a place where Ronnie and Reggie would stay. Maureen added, her song was a favorite of their mother's, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And Mrs. Cray had seen The Wizard of Oz and she absolutely loved Judy Garland. Can you imagine knocking on the door to this little East End lady and them saying, Mom, we've got a surprise for you, we've brought you Judy Garland. And Mrs. Cray said, that's not Judy Garland. And Ronnie said, no. It is mom. We've just picked her up from where she was doing her show and she's going to sing for you. Flanagan was joined by other contributors on the documentary including Mickey Fawcett, who was a key member of the firm, and Chris Lambernu, who served 15 years in jail for his part in the murder of Jack the Hat McVitie in 1967. Lambernu, who also spoke exclusively to Express.co.uk, said it was important the crimes of the crate wins and the firm, were not glamorized because ultimately people lost their lives. His role in the craze story saw him help dispose of McVitie's body, alongside his brother Tony and gangster Ronnie Bender. Now a born again Christian, Chris spent his time after his release changing his life around by ensuring he helped those who were trying to get out of the cycle of prison life. It was while he was serving his sentence during the 70s and 80s that Chris got rid of any idea that crime pays because all you do is cause a lot of misery for your family, children, parents, wives. He said, there is no glamour. When you're sitting in a cell with a pair of prison trousers on and a pair of prison boots, and a shirt you've been wearing most of the week and all you can do is look out of the window, that is your life. He added, there is no glamour in it. You may have your clothes when you're out but when you're there you are just like all the rest. You're on a treadmill. That's the way I see it. But you can change. Because not all of those who have committed crimes are sinners, there are angels as well. Although they had bad names, and were gangsters or whatever, there were some decent people amongst them. They had to come to terms with losing their kids and everything else. I saw all the tears. And I saw the pain and that's just life. You're throwing it away.